Uh, it was November 18 that my first child was born, a daughter named Kathy. And uh, she was a preemie. I had already been assigned and we known that we were going to get on a carrier and go to Korea in within a matter of a couple of weeks. Well, being a preemie, the, uh, even she and her mother were outside looking in. Yeah. And I told them that uh, I was going to Korea and I was going to hold my baby. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. You can cut that part. <laughs> I was going to hold my baby. Or there was going to be hell to pay. So uh, what they did was they uh, sanitized me, dressed me in a corpsman's suit, and I got to hold her. Her head was there. She reached all the way to here. <laughs> Anyhow, that was that part. Then we went to Korea. The activity was all ground support. Pilot again. That uh, when we first got there, the uh, opposition, the ground uh, forces that were opposing, weren't very well organized, and we pretty much had the sky to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we would do quite frequently, were, it's quite hilly country. When you see MASH, it's pretty close yeah. as far as the country is concerned. And it was not unusual to be down in the valley where you'd have hills on either side of you. And they got smart enough, they started stringing cables across there. Oh, wow. And <clears throat> one of the fellows on our uh, ship hit one of those cables. It broke the windshield a little bit Fortunately, we were wearing hard hats. It hit his hat, knocked off, and knocked the tail off his airplane, and just turned him around, just like that. And he said the next thing he knew, he looked over the side, and he had just passed the crest, and he jumped out. And uh, at the bottom of the first swing is when he hit the ground. Wow. Now this, I wasn't there to watch that. This is his story, but uh, he said when we saw him again that he didn't have to look where the, the overhead support was because he could just listen to the fire as being, and being fired at as they yeah. went around. 